Xeroderma pigmentosum is a rare skin disorder that results from defects in DNA repair. Patients with xeroderma pigmentosum are highly sensitive to sunlight and are at increased risk of developing skin cancers. There's a lot of details you have to know about this disease, so I'm going to give you a quick visual mnemonic so you can remember all of them. Ugh, the copy machine broke. Again. I, for one, will never trust copy machines made by Xerox. Derma. This Xerox copy machine coincidentally helps me remember xeroderma pigmentosum. Get it? Xerox for xeroderma? This xeroderma copy machine was the cause of all the problems in the office today. You see, management recently replaced the old machine with this new one. It's supposed to be better since it's like nuclear powered, lower carbon footprint and stuff, you know? See that nuclear powered label on the machine? Well, nuclear should remind you of nucleotide excision repair, which is defective in patients with xeroderma pigmentosum. Nucleotide excision repair is a mechanism for DNA repair, and it is used to repair DNA damage caused by UV light. The reason why this is important is because exam writers like to confuse nucleotide excision repair with base excision repair, another type of DNA repair. We'll get into the specifics later, but just remember how that zero derma Xerox machine is nuclear powered in order to peg nucleotide excision repair. So what's so different about a nuclear powered zero derma Xerox machine? Well, for one, there's a black light inside each one. Yeah, after opening up this copy machine, we were greeted with this glaring black light. This black light should help you remember UV radiation since, well, black lights emit UV rays. This includes sunlight, black lights, or really anything that emits UV rays. Because patients with zero derma pigmentosum lack the ability to repair UV damage to DNA, they really should stay away from black lights like this one. No raves for you. But wait, how exactly does UV light cause damage to DNA? Well, just look at the price per copy, 10 cents, or a dime. But wait, dimes actually have a deeper meaning here. And no, I'm not talking about the kind found in rap songs. That's right, dimes are actually our symbol for dimers, which should help you remember that nucleotide dimers are caused by UV damage. Get it? Dimes for dimers? Specifically, exposure to UV light creates thymine, or TT, dimers in DNA. These dimers are problematic because they create kinks in the strand, blocking replication and transcription of DNA. But don't worry, because nucleotide excision repair can come in and repair these UV-induced dimers. Or do worry, because xeroderma pigmentosum patients have a defect in nucleotide excision repair. The repair process actually requires seven different enzymes called XPA, XPB, XPC, and blah 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 blah, all the way up to XPG. But you don't actually have to remember this. It should be obvious that the XP in the enzyme names stands for xeroderma pigmentosum. So all you really need to remember is that xeroderma pigmentosum is caused by defects in the enzymes needed for nucleotide excision repair. These defects can then prevent cells from fixing any thymine dimers created by UV light. Just remember it costs one dime per copy, you know, a dimer, and you'll have this conceptual understanding down. Now let's take a look at my unfortunate coworker. It seems that she was not expecting to find such a bright black light inside the machine. See how she's using her arms to shield herself from the light? You might even say that she's extremely sensitive to this UV light. This picture should help you remember the sensitivity to UV light particularly sunlight, that's observed in patients with xeroderma pigmentosum. The classic patient presentation is someone who develops rapid skin damage and severe sunburns after brief exposure to sun. This shouldn't be very surprising though. After all, these patients can't fix UV damage. And you know what a lack of DNA repair immediately makes me think of? That's right, cancer. See how this woman's skin is developing bumps and growths in response to the UV light? This picture should make you think of skin cancer. Patients with xeroderma pigmentosum are at an increased risk of developing skin cancers. You know, like basal and squamous cell carcinoma, as well as melanoma. But the skin is not the only part of the body exposed to UV light. Take a look at this woman's eyes. Yep, she's squinting in pain. You know how they always say you shouldn't stare at black lights, or I mean the sun, for too long? This woman's damaged eyes should help you remember the finding of corneal ulcers found in xeroderma pigmentosum. Yep, your cornea uses the same nucleotide excision repair to fix UV light-induced DNA damage. So defects in this process can cause corneal damage, no surprises here. Now we know that UV light can cause a lot of damage in patients with xeroderma pigmentosum. 
Unfortunately, there is no way to cure the disease, so patients really just have to avoid sunlight. Since this is so obvious, we didn't make a symbol here. Avoid sunlight to avoid UV damage. As simple as your XPA, B, Cs. Alright, and that's all you need to know about xeroderma pigmentosum. Let's recap. Xeroderma pigmentosum is caused by a defect in nucleotide excision repair, which is the DNA repair process used to remove thymine dimers caused by UV light exposure. The clinical presentation includes extreme sensitivity to sunlight with rapid skin damage and burning, increased risk for skin cancers, and the development of corneal ulcers. Since there is no definitive treatment, patients with xeroderma pigmentosum simply have to avoid exposure to UV light. All right, and that's it. Let's get this copy machine fixed. And maybe we should get our coworker to the doctor's office. This probably warrants a checkup, right? Thanks for watching. For more videos like these, click here to subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also check out the interactive version of this image at pixarize.com by following the link in the description. If you like what we're doing, share with your friends on social media, and we'll keep making great content like this. We'll see you next time.